and welcome to another episode of Anything Arduino. So Halloween is past, uh, but I still want to go through one more thing that I did with my uh, Halloween prank on my porch. Uh, so I, I did this mask in my previous video with uh, glowing red eyes and uh, lightning effects and stuff like that. And it looked really evil and uh, scary but it didn't sound evil and scary and, and I felt that it missed that dimension so uh, and this is why I, I do it afterwards because it was just the day before and I, I really had to rush it to, to get it done quickly and, and get sound into my project uh, and because of this so a, a while back I bought the mp3 shield uh, and I did plug this in, I downloaded the library and I didn't have time to go through it so I just put my SD card with my mp3 file on it into this and tried to get it running and the, the sketch was really large and, and it was complicated and it didn't, the mp3 file wasn't uh, it, it couldn't play the mp3 file and all these strange things so instead uh, at the same time as I bought that I also bought this really simple mp3 player module which uh, you can insert a SD card or even a USB drive and then you have you can power it via USB uh, and then you just have output on it and then you have four buttons, play, pause, previous, uh, next, and uh, repeat, and volume up, down, depending on how you press the buttons. So I thought I could use, I could use this, and I could just send digital reads, and uh, no, sorry, digital writes, to the buttons uh, from the board, because I, I checked with a multimeter, and it was... 3.3 volts over the pins or something between 3 and, and 5 volts. It, it wasn't 3.3 volts It was a little bit more So I tried that and that didn't work um, But So I did this really simple thing I just took a A relay module so instead of, of just doing digital read writes to this I did the digital read writes to the relays which then actually pushed these buttons by having getting the signal via the relay over these two pins so and this this won't play any file I could put any file in this and it would play it just like uh, uh, most mp3 players so this is kind of a generic mp3 player so this was much easier to do and much easier to implement and easier and faster in every way so this is I'm going to show you how to just write the program for this and how to hook this up to the Arduino to make a really lightweight program wise or sketch wise and and simple mp3 player so let's go through the code and uh, and then you'll see it in action. So in the same sketch that we made last time, we add two more pins, previous pin and the pause pin. And this is because by default, this uh, MP3 module, it uh, repeats uh, all the tracks. So I only had one track on this MP, uh, on this, on this uh, SD card and it would just loop that uh, sound over and over so what I had to do is I have to press the pause pin to make it pause and then every time I want to play the sound I press the previous pin and it will begin from the beginning play the sound and after that is done I press the pause pin again until the next person comes up and triggers the the sketch 
and the previous pin and pause pin are both outputs. So here's here's the sound. So what happens uh, when when the PIR sensor senses someone is coming? We digital write the pause pin to high, uh, and this is high means it is not pressed. It is the these cheap uh, relay modules. They sometimes go the other way around and depending on how you put the pins the connections to the relay high is is on and sometimes high is off in this case high equals off so we make sure the pause pin is not pressed by doing this line then we do a short delay here to make the the board uh, realize that this is a new press and then we digital write the previous pin low for another 100 microseconds and then we release the previous pin again. So with this we have now pressed previous. Then I actually had to make a small delay here because I didn't cut the, the mp3 file in a correct length so it, it, there's a small delay in the beginning and I just by a two by a two second delay I fix that problem and then we do the glowing eyes thing and during this the mp3 module is playing the sound and we have the lightning and then here we end up oh, sorry and here we end the sound so again we delay 2000 because uh, because this is also for um, not cutting the mp3 to length we make sure the previous pin is not pressed by doing it high we delay for 100 microseconds milliseconds sorry uh, and then we write the pause pin to low, which presses the pause pin. And another delay of 100 microseconds, and then we release the pause pin button again. And this is the only code that we add for this, uh, for the MP3 sound. So really simple programming wise. And uh, now let's go through how to hook it up. So let's draw the whole circuit here. Let's begin by doing all the ground wiring. So we take ground from the Arduino. And I didn't bother with any resistors for, for the LEDs because, well, I didn't care for it in this project. And then we add plus 5 volts. And to the MP3 player and also to the PIR sensor. And then we connect the red blinking eyes to pin 10 and the white LED to number 9 10 disappeared there. So this is for the flashing light. Our PIR sensor we connect to pin 2. And then finally the two new pins, pin 3. It's going to in number 2 on the relay in this case. 3 
and then pin number 4 goes to input number 1 on the relay board. Now from the relay board on the soldered uh, pins we connect each button to one relay so that is play pause button the green one and the blue one is the previous button like that so this is the whole circuit uh, when you connect it together So I have a really uh, dark porch here and uh, my kids just uh, went in from the car wh from when we had gone trick or treating and they forgot about the thing so they cried for like 5 or 10 minutes. But uh, I'm just going to go up here to the door. <laughs> It's really scary, for the kids at least, <laughs> they cry like nothing else, so uh, I'd say it's a success. So yesterday evening was Halloween and I had this standing on my porch like this. So there's the mask, there's the sensor and here I hit the light behind there. And then I have the speakers to the mp3 player and uh, there's the power and when you come up on our porch you come like this you really can't see it and it was dark yesterday we had no lights out here and then when you come here it blinks and starts growling so let's turn it on here and it will growl once because it can I think oh wait turn that one off as well so so they come up here and then there <laughs> works perfectly. <laughs> 